Muy bien. Osvaldo, en Las Vegas, cuando estuvo, no paró de sorprendernos e hizo una nota con el Holyfield. Holyfield, Evander Holyfield tiene ya 53 años. Entre 1990 y 2001 fue cuatro veces campeón mundial de los pesados. Reflexivo y amigo de la casa. ¿Lo quieren conocer? Pero cómo no. Adelante. Gracias. Evander, tell me about something about your child when you were a kid in Atlanta, which your dream. Remember those days? Yeah, I'm, I'm, as a kid, I was, I was told as a kid that at eight years old I could be like Muhammad Ali. And, you know, and, and but it's, uh, the lesson that they say, you have to listen, you have to follow the direction, not quit, you could be like Ali. And, uh, of course, I, I, I became four-time midway champ of the world. Because I listened, I followed direction, didn't quit, and uh, I, I, I worked and I did the things that was necessary that I thought that was, was pleasing to, to my mother. Is easy or is difficult uh, live as the heavyweight world champion of the world? <laughs> it's it difficult. It, 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 it sounds good and it sounds enjoying, but you know, with bigger things, you have more problems. And you know, and me, being the heavyweight champion of the world five times and 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 each and every time you know is you know more money more problems you know uh, more that you get more people you have to deal with and 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 coming from the background that I came from you know I, I came up poor and and a lot of things I didn't know then all of a sudden I, as the age of 21 I make the Olympic team and and all these wonderful things happen and And a, a lot of things I just wasn't ready for. I hadn't been schooled, I hadn't been taught and all that. And you know, but it's it called life living. I, I have lived a life that I'm, I'm happy with my life and, and eventually you, you, you'll learn how to deal with the situations that happen. I was a broadcaster to Argentina TV when you knocked James Buster Douglas in Caesar Palace. What do you remember to this day? Well, uh, Of course, that was the ultimate goal. At eight years old, I told her I could be the heavyweight champion of the world. 20 years later, October the 25th, 1990, at the Mirage, I knocked Buster Douglas out in the third round and become the heavyweight champion of the world. So I, I'm the one that can tell you, at eight years old, and I weighed 65, 65 pounds, and, and all of a sudden, at, you know, at 20, at 28 years old, I weighed 206 pounds, and I became the heavyweight champion of the world. This is the, the question to all the people want to make to Evander Holyfield. What really happened in the rematch with Mike Tyson? Well, in the rematch, uh, Mike, Mike got frustrated because he realized that I was, I was a little bit better than I was the first time. And so he bit me. And he beat me on the air, he beat me twice, and they disqualified him. And uh, I had to make a great decision to forgive him, and I forgave him, and, and life goes on. You and Tyson are friends now? Yeah, we, we, Tyson and I, we get along real well, and it's a lot of great things that together we are doing. We now trying to get amateur boxing back right in America and, and where that we can have some good, some good fighters even in the heavyweight division.